Be sure to like the video and leave a comment if you enjoy my content here. Also, let me know what you want to hear next. Enjoy. Come on in. How nice of you to appear on time. Although, I wouldn't have expected anything less from you. You always were the punctual type. Come now. Come a bit closer. You won't be able to hear me properly from all the way over there. It is so nice to see your lovely face after all this time. I know that you're busy cleaning the castle, so we only get to see each other in passing. But it is nice to get a good look at you and talk face to face. It certainly beats pretending not to know each other in the halls or in front of the other nobles. So, how has work been treating you? Not too busy, I hope. If anyone is going out of their way to purposefully make a mess for you, do not hesitate to inform me, and I will deal with them swiftly and quietly. They won't even know that it was you who informed me. Very well. You do like to do things in your own way, and who am I to judge you on that? After all, I do the same thing. Though, I do suppose that it is because I am king, and no one would dare to oppose me. Apart from you, I suppose. I know I can rely on you to keep me in check. Speaking of which, I have the most important task for you. Now, do feel free to turn it down, as I know it is a rather big undertaking for me to ask of you. But I am not sure who else to turn to. If I do not ask first, someone may come for my crown so that they can pursue this devious plan that I fear is at hand. My court cannot know that this is happening, nor can they ever find out. This is of the utmost secrecy. Do you understand that? Well, this is partially due to the fact that I suspect that if I question them, they will all cover for one another, or blatantly lie to cover their own backside or they will alert the rest of the people in close quarters, and everyone will suddenly be on their best behavior. That won't do. I need someone who they will not suspect. Someone they don't pay attention to whenever they enter the room or stop in the halls. I need... Yes. Getting to the point, I need you to eavesdrop on conversations, and find the people in the court that don't have the kingdom's best interests at heart. Those pushing ideas that sound like they're good for the kingdom, but will actually only benefit themselves in the long run. They would be on high alert if I said something publicly, or sent actual investigators to follow them around for a short period of time. Hence, why I am turning to you. You have been my close friend and loyal confidant for quite some time now, and you've always been there whenever I've needed you. You've done most anything that I've asked of you, and you've even helped keep me in check during my rule as king. And now, I turn to you in my time of need. I need you to try to eavesdrop on their conversations, perhaps with their advisors, or just other members of the court that they trust. Exactly. No one notices the maids unless they want something, so you're perfect for the job. When you enter a room, no one pays attention. You're just a breeze passing by. A very beautiful breeze, of course. But to them, you are not noticeable. You can sneak up behind them and they wouldn't even 
even notice. They'll just presume that you're there to clean or fetch them some drinks. You can listen to every single word, and they won't care. Then, after you figure out who is... <sighs> yes, I know that I'm asking for a lot here, but I need you to make sure that the people in my court are doing what is best for the people of my kingdom. If you succeed, I shall grant you a reward. Anything you wish. Within reason, of course. And of course, a pay increase. So, can you do it? Oh, thank you. Now, don't get into trouble. And if anyone threatens or tries to hurt you, just run back to me and I'll bring back public executions. I kid, I joke, do not worry, but if anyone does try to do something, just tell me, and I'll take care of it for you, without using my status as king for evil, of course. We'll meet again in secret, this time tomorrow. Well, there's a meeting tomorrow, and I need to know before them. However, it's in the afternoon, so we can meet just before I have a late lunch. I'll drop hints to the staff that I want you to clean my room, since you always do such a good job at it. Sound good? I'll await you in my quarters tomorrow. finally here. It took you long enough. I apologize. I waited as long as I could, but I simply could not bear to watch the food get any colder. Well, my food, at least. I asked for the cooks to prepare a bigger portion so that I can give you some too. However, it might have gotten a bit cold by now. I can still plate it up if you are hungry. Ask the cook to throw it in the oven again to reheat it for you. But I think most of the staff have gone home now. I didn't want them to walk home after sunset, so I said that they can go home early if they wish to. But, to be fair, who wouldn't want to go home early? Very well. But there are some little cakes if you want them. I cannot eat them right now, but I fear to tell the chef. I don't wish to hurt her feelings, or face her wrath, to be honest with you. I sent her a half-eaten plate once as a young boy, and she refused to let me return it and made me finish it in front of her. Yes, right. What have you learned? I see. I guess I should have expected that. They've been slowly sneaking their guards into our kingdom and they have been rather vocal about their kingdom's needs. Or, should I say, their wants. I should have seen it earlier. How could I be so blind? Oh, I apologize. I shouldn't have raised my voice. It's been... a lot, lately. But I shouldn't take that out on you. <sighs> I'll schedule a meeting with them tomorrow. I'll have to call in extra guards to make sure that they don't try any tricks. Gods above, how am I going to find a replacement for them on such short notice? <sighs> I think I have some cousins I can trust. Father didn't tell me much before he passed on and he left the throne to me. My quiet evening just turned into a night of nothing but paperwork and late-night letter writings to allies to alert them of what's supposedly going on. Of course, I'll have to gather more proof. I believe what you say, but the other members of the court won't. I... what? You... what? I can't make you... 
No. <laughs> no. This is one of your funny jokes, right? Look at you, trying to cheer me up while I'm at my lowest. You're such a good friend. What do you mean you are not? Not joking? Seriously. I... <sighs> no. I just... You're a good friend. My go-to. But I don't feel like that towards you. Besides, you're a commoner, and I'm a king. If we were to fall in love, which, again, you're my friend and nothing more, it would still be impossible. Oh, gods, no, please. <sighs> Forgive me, uh, my friend, but this... <sighs> What you hoped would have happened after helping me and confession is not happening. I'm sure that you had your hopes up, and I am grateful for your service. You are excused now. You are excused. Please leave before I call the guards. I said, leave, before I have you escorted out and terminated from your position. Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and thank you all for listening to another one of my audios. Sorry I've been away for a while, I was handling some things IRL, but things should be returning to normal shortly. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Mystic37, Creek, Vinoan, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, Lunar, and Lindsay Travers. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. Your support truly does mean the world to me, be you patron or not. If you're interested in following any of my socials, be sure to check out my link tree. It'll be in the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so, so much once again. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.